Hello all, welcome to part 30 of Extend Reports training series. In this session, I am going to show you how to generate multiple extent reports where one of the extent report will contain only the test results as pass, where one of the extent report will only contain the test results as fail, where one of the okay extent report will only contain the test results as skip. Okay, why we need to do like that? Okay, we can generate everything in a single report, right? All pass, fail, skip, warning, all this kind of uh, different status test results, we can put in a single report and share. But sometimes we may have to go through some situations where we need to share only the failed test results with the developers. Okay, the developers in the team are asking us to give them a extent report which contains only the tests which are failing. Okay, they want to go with that failed test and then fix the defects in the application like that. That may be a situation or there may be some situation, different situations guys, okay, where some people will be only wanting the skip test, uh, all tests, okay, only pass and fail, okay, except skip. Like that. multiple combinations can be there based on our requirement. So extent reports provides such kind of customization for us, okay. So it provides a kind of customization feature for us where we can generate different extent reports where one of the report may contain all the type of results, test results like pass, fail, skip, warning, where one of the extent report will contain only pass or one of the extent report will contain only fail, when one of the report will contain only skip, where one of the report will contain only warnings like and so on. Okay. So let me show you how to do this practically. Okay. How to achieve this practically, how to generate uh, multiple extent reports. Okay. That separate multiple extent reports with filtered status test results. Okay. So I'm going to do a practical demonstration on this. I'll quickly switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this, uh, you see the basic code of extent reports. We are using the uh, Spark reporter, which is uh, one of the reporter of the extent reports. We, attached, we already attached this Spark reporter. And if you see here, it will generate a report, guys. ereport.html will be generated. And this will contain all the type of test results by default, like pass, fail, skip, warning, everything will be there in that. Okay. Here are the tests which are passing. Here are the tests which are failing, skipping. Okay. Multiple type of tests are there. Pass, fail, skip, ever, different category tests are there. Status uh, category tests are there. So if I run this by default, you'll, it will only generate a single, it will only generate a single report here. Only one report will be opened. ereport.html will open uh, in the default browser because of this automatic statement. Okay. Run this code, you'll see that only one report will be generated and it will be automatically opened because of the rest of this, uh, this statement will automatically open the report for us once it is generated. You see only one report got generated, that is ereport.html, which contains all the tests, pass, fail, skip, pass, fail, fail, skip like that. Uh, if I have to filter them by status, I can filter them here, okay? So I can filter like this. This is one of the way of filtering. Only pass, only fail, only skip. If warning is there, warning also will come there, okay? If I clear, all will come again, okay? But I don't want uh, a report which contains all the results. I don't want to do this manual process, okay? Or don't want to go with this manual process of filtering. Rather, I want to generate a separate, okay, individual report which contains only the tests which are failing, only the tests which are passing, only the tests which are skipping, like that, okay? So then what I have to do? So for that, we have to do something here in our script, okay? So the test will be remaining same. Uh, just uh, here, here we have to change something, okay? Here only one Spark reporter is there. Here only one Spark reporter is there, which is generating the test results uh, for, uh, for all the status like pass, fail, skip, okay? For every status type, it is generating a single report, okay? So what I will do is I will change the name here, e-report all, okay? E-report all, when I change the name of the uh, e-report, the extent report here as e-report all, here also e-report all, okay? Then I will give this e-report all here, file all here. And also here I'll change the name of the Spark reporter that is Spark reporter all here and copy this Spark reporter all here. That's it. Done guys. Okay. This is one, one, one report. Okay. This Spark reporter all will be opened here. Okay. Uh, sorry, this Spark reporter all having this e-report file all. I need to copy the e-report file all and paste it here. Guys. We have to provide a file here. This will be automatically opened once it is generated. It will contain all the results, like all the test results, like pass, fail, skip, everything will be there. Okay. Uh, just to save the space, I'll just uh, make it three, just remove the spaces there so that uh, now I'll copy this part, guys. I'll copy this, I'll duplicate this code. Okay. File, expect, uh, ex, e report, 
file only pass, only the tests which are passing, I want to get in this report. Here, I'll also change the name of the report as e-report pass, okay? Or you can say only pass, only pass, okay? Only pass, here also only pass. It's better to write only pass, only pass will come there. Now here, here also only pass I'll write, only pass, name of the Spark paper also only pass. And here, this file name I need to pass in multiple places. Here is one place and uh, here is one place, okay? I'll just copy this line, paste it, duplicate this, and I'll just cut this from here. And I'll just say file only pass, okay, done. Now, what next uh, only pass is there? This only pass I need to attach to the extent report, okay, done. This part is done, but did I, where did I do the filtering? Okay, if I just write like this, it doesn't, this also will get all the test results like pass, fail, skip, everything will come. So I have to filter the test in this Spark paper. I have to take this object reference of the Spark reporter only pass. Then I have to apply some settings to this Spark reporter. That is only pass filter dot. Okay, there's one more method like a status uh, filter. Okay, filter dot status filter dot. Now as set of status, as set of status. Here you can write new status. Okay, it kind of array you can write here. And here provide in this curly braces, Say dot apply guys, just better to provide dot apply here. And in this curly braces, you have to provide status dot, status dot, only pass rate, pass. Only one thing I am providing. That means this report uh, has applied, okay, this uh, extent, uh, this part, part report has applied, okay, to only provide the status as pass tests, okay. Remaining all tests which are not falling into the pass category will not be shown in this report. And this report will be automatically opened here as you already have seen. Now, the same thing I'll apply. I'll create one more extent report file. Okay, here I'll say only fail, only fail. And here also I'll come and say only fail, only fail. Mm, here also only fail, only fail. All the places I have to change only fail is okay. That's the thing. So here also only fail. Here also only fail, okay. Don't forget any place, okay? Only fail, all the only fails. Now, now come back here and copy this and uh, paste it here and here also only fail, you just change it. To. That means only fail test will come. And the main thing here, what you have to change here is, here status.pass is there. Uh, uh, I mean to say, uh, Spark reporter only fail, uh, dot filter, dot status filter, dot as new status. Instead of status.pass, you have to say status.fail, okay? Status.fail. Now, everything is clear here, okay? We change the status.fail here from status.pass to status.fail. Only the fail test will be coming in this report, okay? So the report name also, I think I have changed, report only fail.html, fine. I'll, I'll copy paste one more thing. Only skip, I'll say, only skip. And here also, only skip, only skip. And here also, only skip, here also, only, skip then status dot uh, here also only skip skip here also status dot skip status dot skip and uh, let's say in this skip report i want to have both skip and uh, uh, two statuses let's say status dot warning also i want to have that in the skip report only either skip or warning should come here only skip warning you can change if you want but that's okay and I'm, I'm okay with this only skip i'll write that's it so skip and uh, warning related will come in the last report, okay? Copy this, just here say only skip, only skip. That's it guys, that's it, you don't have to do anything. Now save this guys, now how many reports will be generated? Here one of the report, e report, uh, e -report all all.html will be generated. Then e report. this will contain pass, fail, skip, warning, all kind of status tests, okay? All the tests having different status will come here as a mix. Whereas this one will contain only the tests which are passing. This will contain only the tests which are failing. This will contain only the tests which are skipping or warning. Okay. Uh, warnings are not there in this example. Only skip is there. So we'll go with the pass fail skip. Okay. This will contain pass fail skip. Okay. Four reports will be generated with different names. Let's run this and they will be automatically opened because I replicated this code, duplicated this code here and just changed the file names here. So this particular line from Java will open this report automatically once it is generated. All these four reports will be opened automatically for us, as you already have seen in the previous sessions of this training series. I have run the code. You see, once the code is executed, it was very fast. And once it is executed, you see there are four reports generated. One, two, three, and four, four reports. In the first report, if you see, all the uh, test status are there. 
pass fail mix of mix of pass fail skip everything is there in the first report this is e report all if you come to the second report e report only pass here we applied some filter settings in the spark reporter to uh, report only the passed tests you see only the tests which are passed i don't have to filter separately here it's coming by default okay this report you can share with uh, the team uh, to see like how many are passing you can see whereas uh, this this one on, uh, only fail uh, where you can share this with the developers or uh, any other managers who want to see how many tests are failing and how why they are failing okay they don't want to see all the reports just they want to see the failed tests okay why they are failing and all okay for that reasons you can use uh, uh, you can filter the test for fail for spark reporter and you will this kind of report will generate only skip is also there guys only skip, either skip or warning we apply to the same report here only examples of skip are there so here two tests are there which are skipping only skip tests are coming this is how guys this is how we can generate multiple okay multiple separate extent reports with different filter status test results like some extent report having all the test results, all the test results are pass, fail, skip, etc. Whereas one of the extent report is having only the tests which are passing. Uh, on, uh, one of the extent report is generating only the tests which are failing. One of the extent report is generating only the tests which are skipping or warning. Okay. So this is how we can do this. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.